Minnesota as the world's fastest miler of 2014. You're a Minnesota, a Minnetonka High School alumnus, and you, you remember last year's great press conference. He had a quick, thick Minnesota accent. Oh, you betcha. <laughs> uh, welcome back. Uh, you're returning as the fastest miler in the world this year. Is that something you think about, or do you just take it in stride? I just thought about it again. <laughs> um, no, I don't really, that, was, that race was a long time ago. Um, so while that was a fantastic evening in New York City, um, you kind of just move on. Um, we don't get to run miles, especially on the indoor track, which has, I guess, become one of my specialties. Um, but no, I don't really think about that a lot often, to be honest. Okay. You obviously have taken big steps forward in your running in the last few years. What do you attribute it to? Good question. Um, the boring answer, consistency. Um, I have had the good fortune to not really get hurt at all um, in my career. I had one minor setback in 2010, but quickly remedied. Um, the more fun answer and the answer I truly like to believe in uh, is my facial hair. My beard, I draw a lot of confidence and power from it. And without it, I'm nothing. <laughs> I, without it, I'm David Torrance. <laughs> I kid, I kid. But seriously. Do you have plans to grow it a little longer? Or are, you, are you in the trimming phase? Or? Well, it depends. Yeah, it depends who you ask. If you ask my girlfriend, um, I'm shaving it tomorrow. <laughs> um, if you ask me, it's, this is me versus the world. It's going to go as long as it can. It's a great opportunity to come back to Minnesota. Um, I relish every chance that I get to come home and especially to compete. Um, you know, what Nicole was talking about, being able to compete in front of family and friends. Almost all my family lives here. My friends are sort of scattered up the country, so I get to compete in front of various groups of them at different times of the year. Um, but my grandma will be out there tonight, and she is the loudest woman in the world, so good luck to these guys. successful race if, uh, if I beat David Torrance <laughs> and win 15 